In this example, we'll determine a conditional probability using a table and then also using Bayes' theorem. Upon the arrival at a hospital's emergency room, patients are categorized according to their condition as critical, serious, or stable. In the past year, 4% of the emergency room patients were critical, 29% of the emergency room patients were serious, the rest of the emergency room patients were stable. 30% of the critical patients died, 7% of the serious patients died, and 3% of the stable patients died. We're asked to find the probability that a patient who survived was categorized as serious upon arrival, which is the conditional probability, which is the probability the patient was classified as serious given the patient survived, which we indicate using the notation shown here below. And we're asked to give the probability as a decimal to four decimal places. Let's first complete the table below, assuming there are 10,000 patients. I'm assuming 10,000 patients just so the table has nice values. So first we know 4% of the emergency room patients were critical. 4% of 10,000 is 400, and therefore the total for the critical row is 400. 29% of the emergency room patients were serious. 29% of 10,000 is 2,900, which gives us a total for the number of patients classified as serious. The rest were classified as stable. 10,000 minus 400 minus 2,900 is equal to 6,700, the total patients classified as stable. Another way to determine this amount would be to recognize that 4% plus 29% is equal to 33%, and 100% minus 33% is 67%. 67% were classified as stable. 67% of 10,000 is 6,700. And now to determine how many died and how many survived. 30% of the critical patients died. To find 30% of 400, we convert 30% to a decimal and multiply by 400, which gives us 0 0.3 times 400, which is 120. So 120 critical patients died. To find the number survived, we can take 400 and subtract 120, which is equal to 280. 7% of these serious patients died. To find 7% of 2,900, we convert 7% to a decimal and multiply. 7% is equal to 0 0.07. 0 0.07 times 2,900. Is 203. So 203 serious patients died. To find the number that survived, we take 2,900 and subtract 203, which is equal to 2,697. 3% of the stable patients died. To find 3% of 6,700, we convert 3% to a decimal and multiply, which gives us 0 0.03 times 6,700, which is equal to 201. So 201 stable patients died. To find the number that survived, we take 6,700 and subtract 201, which is equal to 6,499. And now let's go ahead and total the columns. 120 plus 203 plus 201 is equal to 524. 280 plus 2,697 plus 6,499 is equal to 9,400. 76. And now if we've totaled the last row and the last column, both give a sum of 10,000. And now we have all the information we need to determine the probability a patient was classified as serious given the patient survived. Because we are given the patient survived, we're only concerned about this column here, the survived column. Notice a total of 9,476 survived. Of those that survived, notice 2,697 were classified as serious, which means the probability the patient was serious given they survived is 2,697 divided by 9,476. And now we divide. To four decimal places, we have 0 0.2846. And that's to determine the same probability using Bayes' theorem, which is shown above. Notice for Bayes' theorem, event A is the patient was classified as serious. Event B is the patient survived. So completing Bayes' theorem, 
we have the probability the patient was serious given they survived is equal to probability of serious times the probability of survived given serious divided by the probability of serious times the probability survived given serious plus the probability not serious times the probability survived given not serious. Notice in Bayes' theorem, A complement is the complement of serious, which means not serious. And now let's begin to fill in the probabilities. The probability of serious is given as 29% or 0 0.29 as a decimal times the probability the patient survived given serious. Well, we know 7% of the serious patients died and therefore 100% minus 7% or 93% of the serious patients survived, which gives us 0 0.93 as a decimal. And then we have divided by the probability of a serious, 0 0.29. Again, times the probability the patient survived given serious, which is 0 0.93, plus the probability not serious. Well, if the probability of being serious is 29%, the probability of not serious is 100% minus 29% or 71%, which is a decimal of 0 0.71. And then we have times the probability the patient survived given they were classified as not serious. Now for this one, we'll have to go back to the table. To find the probability the patient survived given they were classified as not serious, we need to focus on two rows. We need to focus on this row, critical, as well as this row stable. So if the patient is not serious, that means they'd be classified as critical or stable. Notice the total that were classified as critical or stable or not serious would be 400 plus 6,700, which is 7,100. So of these 7,100 that were not critical, notice 280 plus 6,499 survived, and 280 plus 6,499 is equal to 6,779. So again, the probability the patient survived, given they were classified as not serious, or classified as critical or stable, is 6,779 divided by 7,100. And now we will go back to the calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and use the fraction format key here on the right. And we have 0 0.29 times 0 0.93 in the numerator. In the denominator we have 0 0.29 times 0 0.93 and then plus 0 0.71 times, we have another fraction where the fraction is 6,779 over 7,100, enter, and notice how we do get the same result of 0 0.2846 to four decimal places. For this example, using Bayes' theorem was a little tricky because of this last conditional probability, the probability the patient survived given they were classified as not serious. To find this probability, we did have to use the table. I hope you found this helpful.